After the formation of the Earth 4.5 billion years ago, the landscape of our newly formed planet was a dangerous place. The surface was mainly made of molten rock, creating a sea of lava, while frequent meteor strikes rocked the Earth, including a collision between the Earth and a protoplanet, with the ejected material of the two eventually forming into the Moon. Many of these meteors carried water and organic matter, but the extreme heat of early Earth turned them to gases, forming the Earth's first atmosphere. However, this atmosphere was not at all similar to ours. Extremely dense, this first atmosphere was mostly made up of hydrogen, helium, carbon dioxide, and water vapors. Slowly in the Archean Eon, the Earth began to cool down, with the water vapor starting to rain down, forming the first seas on Earth around 4 billion years ago. Also during the Archean Eon, the frequent meteor showers that had plagued the younger Earth began to end, which helped foster development of life 3.8 billion years ago. Life began as simple single-cell organisms in hypothermic craters and vents, where sources of energies were readily found. In this period, oxygen starts to build up in the atmosphere 3.5 billion years ago due to the emergence of photosynthesis. Early life continued as simple life forms until the Great Oxidation Crisis, which would critically change two things. First, although the oxygen killed over 90% of the Earth's life forms, it would eventually pave the road for more complex life. The second was the formation of the ozone layer around 600 million years ago which protects the Earth from the sun's deadly UV light, allowing the first land animals to develop. Five hundred forty million years ago, the Cambrian explosion began, which saw the development of the first fishes, sponges, this thing which I can't pronounce, sea critters, and much more. It was safe to say that this was one of the turning points in the history of Earth. While a global cooling ended the Cambrian period, on land, plants, amphibians, and bugs soon populated the landscape. But 250 million years ago, the Great Dying occurred, which killed 96% of all land life and 70% of sea life. Maybe it's a supernova, or a meteorite, or a volcano. We don't know the cause of the mass extinction, but we do know it took millions of years for life to bounce back, and when it finally did, the age of the reptiles was ushered in. During the Mesoic period, the dinosaurs ruled uncontested on the land, with the famous T-Rex living during this era. However, this came to an end when a 10-kilometer asteroid hit the Earth 66 million years ago, wiping out 75% of all living things, including the dinosaurs. The dust clouds made by the asteroid blocked out the sun, resulting in a global ice age. But the warm climate quickly came back, and with it, many of the animals that we know of today, such as horses, elephants, and deers, who evolved in this time period. 2.6 million years ago, another ice age began, with the woolly mammoth, saber-toothed tiger, and modern humans all living during this time space. Speaking of humans, Homo sapiens, who had originated 200,000 years ago, soon began to leave their African homeland to colonize the rest of the world, placing us where we are in the modern age. <laughs>